This is a video showing how I throw a creamer on the potter's wheel. I'm going to use some clay that's already portioned. So first I put down what's called a bat and then I take it out and throw it really hard down onto the wheel and I have to get it into the center of the wheel. So I press down and in and bring it up, press down and squeeze and now that the clay is centered, I'm going to open it up with my two thumbs, pressing down, being careful not to go through the bottom. And now I want to stretch that out. So I reach down and I stretch out that hole, create the bottom. I'm flattening it and compressing it with my thumb. And then I collar in because I want to go up and level it. And then from there, I'm squeezing and raising there's a lot of clay at the bottom, so I want to reach down. I, ha I use a sponge. I press in against my inner hand and raise, 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 slowly up to the top and gently let go. And these are called pulls. I'm going to do several of them. So I go back down to the bottom, get that extra clay. I press in, kind of get underneath it, and then I'm slowly pulling it from the bottom up to the top so I'm raising that up higher and higher to use all the clay that's there. Now I'm going to use a metal rib it's called. It's a smooth flat tool that I can press against and that takes the extra liquid clay off and it helps to smooth the surface. Now I'm collaring in the neck because I want that to be smaller and I'm going to use a chamois, wet chamois and stretch out the rim because that's where I want the spout to be. This is going to be a pitcher. So I'm going to just fine tune that. There is some extra clay that's down at the bottom that I'm not going to use. So I'm going to get rid of that. I have a wooden tool and I come in at an angle and I press down until I hit the wheel head. After I touch the wheel head, I flatten the tool and sweep that extra clay away. And that scrap that I can use another time, I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. And now water has accumulated on the inside, so I have to sponge that out. So I have a sponge on a stick. I'm taking that extra water out, otherwise if I left it there, at the bottom would crack. And now it's time to make the spout. So I'm going to use first my thumb and my index finger and pinch, pinch, pinch to thin out that rim where I want the spout to be. And then I'm going to use two hands, two fingers with one and one with the other after I get that pinched out. Now I'm squeezing in from the outside and then I'm going to kind of tease that out from the top with my index finger going back and forth. There we go, back and forth. Just to thin it out a little bit more and to give it the right shape that I'm looking for. And then I just want to make sure that it's even. So I make a final adjustment and then I'm going to cut it free from the wheel with a wire hold it down very tightly, pull it through and that is ready to come off the wheel and dry a few days and be trimmed. There's how we make a creamer.